What is going on there, my YouTube family? How's things today? Matt in Virginia, aka Passion for Cards, coming at you. A quick video. Got one uh, package I want to open from a fellow YouTuber, and then a quick response video for uh, Tops85401 on his uh, 1500 subscriber contest. So we'll start off with the package. I got a package in the mail the other day from my main man, Tony. AKA Psyched on Baseball Cards. I appreciate it, my friend. I had sent Tony a <clears throat> minor league set um, of the Ogden A's with the Ricky Henderson uh, minor league card. I had a couple sets here at the house, and I thought Tony would like one, so being a big Oakland A's fan. So I shot it to him, and he responded, said, uh, you know, I know you didn't ask for anything back, but I want to shoot you something for the Phillies PC, so coming in this little Tops Now envelope, then we got the old Painter's Tape Cardboard Sandwich, so let me pop into that real quick, and see what we're working with, alright, oh, very cool, very cool, so we have a 2010 Bowman Sterling autograph of former Phillies prospect rookie card. I love this kid when he came up too. I really thought he had a lot of promise. Um, I got a ton of his cards, and but this I don't think this is one of them. So, Tony, I appreciate it, buddy, man. Real, real nice of you to, to send this my way, man. Thank you very, very much. Got the Bowman Sterling autograph of Dominic Brown. Jim Mint 10. So thank you, my friend. Beautiful card. Got some nice shine to it. Beautiful autograph. Nice rookie card, obviously in pristine condition. So thank you very much, my friend. I appreciate that. That'll find a nice home right here in the old Phillies PC. So very cool. Thank you, my friend. So on to the video response for uh, for Nate Tops eighty five four hundred one. He has two questions. First of all, um, what kind of advice would you give to somebody trying to get onto YouTube? And as I thought about it, I'm like, man, I'm pretty new myself. I'm not sure I'm anybody to give advice, but I just kind of talk about the quick journey I took. You know, obviously, like most people, I just started watching videos of different people and and started subscribing to channels. And I did that for probably about six months. <clears throat> just looking at their content and kind of how they put their videos together and I knew I'd be challenged because I'm not a technolo technologically uh, savvy guy so I don't edit any of my videos or anything what you see is what you get don't know how to do it so um, I just started commenting on their videos and then one Saturday I had gotten some 2018 uh, top series one and some 2018 heritage in and um, me and my wife broke the boxes and I said, well, why don't I just shoot a, a video of the recap of, you know, the stuff we got. And, and so I did that and I was like, well, it went okay. So I did a quick video of kind of a tour of my sports room and how it's laid out and what's in there. And that was the first video I posted, just kind of an introduction to who I was and, and what I collected and what my collection looked like. And I posted that video and Started to get a few people looking at it and a few people commenting and, you know, I always try to make sure I respond to people's comments and, you know, just try to be a real person. So if that's the advice I could give, that would be it. You know, just, just when you're ready, you're ready, you know, don't rush it. But, uh, once you, you make the plunge, just be a real person, man. Just be who you are and, and show what you like and, and show what makes, what makes you happy. Uh, I really just wanted to be able to share my collection with folks that, that like the hobby. So. That got me rolling. I don't could care less about how many subscribers I have or it makes no difference to me. You've never heard one time in my video. I've never asked for anybody to like my video. I've never asked for anybody to subscribe to my channel. I just feel like, hey, if you like what I'm showing, then then you will. And if you don't, that's cool. Um, you know, you'll go find something else on YouTube that that you like to watch. So, and then his second question uh, Nate had was. How can we promote the hobby? And a lot of people have, have talked about some great things they do. You know, hand, obviously hand out cards to the kids. And we have a local guy that used to play in the major leagues, uh, Michael Kadire. 
and a buddy of mine lived in his neighborhood, and he does the Halloween thing where he actually signs cards for kids in the neighborhood, so I thought that was pretty cool that, that he does that, so. And quite honestly, I don't come into contact with a lot of kids. I don't have any children of my own. I do have a nephew um, that was born in 2013, so he's five. So starting in 2012 up through 2018, I've collected Topps base sets. I have them set aside in my closet for when he's ready. I started collecting, I think, about about the time I was seven years old. So I figure maybe a few more years, you know, I can start seeing if he's interested. But when he comes to the house, you know, we go out front and we play catch. Um, so hopefully he'll he'll break into to wanting to like the hobby and and uh, check out the cards and. And if he does, then obviously I'll help him along that path. But I talk about it all the time with my buddies at work. I got a few guys at work that collect cards, and so we talk about it all the time. And and then I think just being an ambassador here on YouTube, you know, just being a good person, you know, showing your collection, doing it the right way, uh, so people can come watch your channel and and learn and and see what they like and what they don't like is a, is another great way to do that. So. Nate, I hope that's what you're looking for, my friend. Congratulations on uh, 1,500 subscribers. That's unbelievable. I mean, that's a lot of people to to want to come to your channel and, and watch what you do, and well-deserved. Um, I love watching your videos. You seem like a, a real chill guy, somebody to be cool to hang out with, and maybe someday we'll get that opportunity, and uh, we can rap about cards or, or whatever else is going on. So, Everybody have a great day, and as always, stay classy.